When it comes to ARC, game mechanics are essential for proper play. So we proudly present How to Play ARC Survival Evolved. It's Josh with the Outcast here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to teach you everything from controls on ARC to actually how to play. We've done a few of these videos in the past, but this one is going to be by far the most detailed. So hope you guys enjoy, don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. Now on to the video. Let's start with controls. When you first spawn in, you'll most likely be confused with all the different details and dinosaurs roaming around. To pick up resources on the ground, like stone and fiber, use E on the keyboard. For console, it's square on PS4 and X on Xbox. Simply walk up to these resources, just press those buttons and you should be able to pick them up. Next, walk up to a tree or fallen branch and harvest it by using left click or right trigger on console. Now, it's time to craft your first item. Go into your inventory using V on PC or circle on PS4 and B on Xbox. Next, navigate to a stone pick and craft it using left click. You can also right click and craft up to 100 of each item. Now, it's time to craft a hatchet. But how do you get flint for this? Well, it's a lot easier than you think. Any one of these rocks on the beach will give flint when harvested with a pick. After you craft your hatchet, you can use it to harvest large amounts of stone. Before we move on to leveling, you should probably know more about the controls. Now, let's get on to the character controls. These just help you so you know how to navigate your character options. Holding down T on PC or circle on PS4 and B on Xbox opens up your whistle list. This list is meant for your tame dinos. The list is pretty self-explanatory. The three you may not know, which are passive, which makes your dinos not attack anything, even if attacked. Neutral makes it so your dinos will fight back only when attacked, and aggressive makes it so your dinos attack anything and everything, even if it's not provoked. For any other commands on this list to work, your crosshair must be pointed at said object or dino. M on PC, or touchpad on PS4 and back button on Xbox, opens up the map. And P on PC, I don't know what the buttons are for console, makes markers on your map. The map is one of the most useful resources on ARC for navigating the world. Just make sure you can read the coordinates. Always read the map, latitude, then longitude. This is important for finding tribe mates when you first spawn in. To run on PC, hold down left shift or click the left joystick on console. To jump, press the spacebar on PC or X on PS4 or A on Xbox. To crouch, press C on PC or press the right joystick on console. To prone or lay down, press X on PC or hold down the right joystick on console. Now, let's move on to the fighting. Press left click to hit or fire a weapon or R2 on PS4 and RT on Xbox. To aim down sight on a weapon, press right click on PC or L2 on PS4 and LT on Xbox. To toggle your weapon, place it in your hotbar by dragging or moving it down to the hotbar then press Q on PC or L2 plus up on D-pad or LB plus up on the D-pad on Xbox. To reload your weapon, press R on PC or square on PS4 and X on Xbox. To drag a body, just hover over the dead body and press that said button. If you've never played ARC, that's gonna sound very wrong. Now, let's move on to the camera movements. I use these for making my cinematics. To toggle orbit cam, hit K on PC, or touchpad and left joystick on PS4, and back button plus left joystick on Xbox. To zoom the camera in and out, use the mouse wheel, or L1 and L2 on PS4. Sorry Xbox, you don't have a way to do this. The biggest issue I see with new players is how to use the chat in game. It's simple, just hit enter on PC, or L1 plus touchpad on PS4, and LB plus back button on Xbox. Now that the controls are done, let's move on to leveling. T 
To get over to your leveling tab, go over to the engram points icon and before you start to panic with all the different types of engrams, it's very easy to understand. First, if you go to the back of your character stats, you will notice right away that there are plus buttons flashing next to each stat. What this means is that you have a level to put into whatever stat that you want on, on this. I recommend putting your levels into health, weight, or movement speed if you're on a PvP server for your first few levels. Never put it into oxygen, water, or food as they basically waste a level. Now that you have these levels put into your character, you will earn engram points. Go to your engram point icon again and you will notice that you have unlocked more engrams. Each set of engrams has a number next to it indicating what you get as said level. Just be careful, don't waste all of your engram points at once. Now that we are done with leveling, let's move on to taming. Taming may seem very complicated at first, and let me tell you, it can be both easy and complicated. It all depends on what type of dino you want. Fun fact, some dinos can take up to 58 hours to tame on official servers. Now, you may be asking, what dinos should I tame and how do I tame them? Well first, you're going to need to know how to tame them. For most dinos, trank arrows or darts will work for knocking out the dino you want to tame. You will need a crossbow or long neck for this to work. Just walk up to the dino you want to tame and shoot it in the head for the highest amount of torpor to be done to it. Some dinos like a trike have to be hit on the side for it to knock out properly. Once you have that dino knocked out, either put berries or meat in its inventory. If you do not know what your dino wants for food, go visit this amazing website called Dodo Dex, not sponsored, and find your dino you are taming and it will tell you the food type and how long it will take to tame. To keep your dino knocked out, put narco berries from bushes in its inventory and force feed it to them. Now, you just wait for your dino to tame. Some dinos like Lystros are passive tames, meaning you just walk up and feed it every so often. And now, taming is complete. The dinos I recommend for starting off are a raptor, which you can literally knock out by punching it, a trike, which you will need to knock out with tranks, a pterodon, which you will need a bola for, and an Argentavis, which you will need a trap for. The raptor is great for starting PvP or getting meat. The trike is great for farming berries and raiding bases. The pterodon is amazing for traveling across the world. And the Argentavis is great for holding lots of materials and storage. It can also be used as a portable smithy. Now, let's move on to building. Building may be one of the most important aspects of this game. You will need to make sure you have a base even if you are on PvE. So let me show you how to do this. There are six different types of building materials to choose from, but I recommend building your base out of stone from the beginning as it forces a raider to have to make explosives to even get inside. Just don't think that you're fully safe as it only takes one C4 to break into it. To make a base, put down a 2x2 two two if you are a solo player as this is the best size area to cover without weak spots. Place your foundations, your walls, a door, and then your ceilings. Now your base is completed. I recommend after you're done to start turning the base into metal and get auto turrets on it. You can easily do this by placing the foundations on top of your already built foundations and it will replace everything for you. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video. We did not cover everything on ARC as that would honestly make an extremely long video. And in fact, we are going to be going over every single section for like artifacts, how to do boss fights, how to do breeding, all that kind of stuff. So leave a like down below. This video hits 1500 likes, which I don't know when it's going to hit that, but if it hits 1500 likes, we will begin that series. And then right now we will be going over every single map and doing the beginner's guide on each map showing you guys the best base locations and all that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button and peace out.